Partners in Crime by Pretty Maids. Or Partner in Crime. No, it's Partners in Crime. By Pretty Maids. CBT guitar lesson for Timmy. And uh, Timmy, this is a killer song, dude. I'm hearing touches of like uh, Dawkins, Scorpions. Just a well-written song, man. So this isn't standard. Now I know with your CBT lessons, you're telling me to kind of grossify the solos. This one, I went ahead and did it the way he's playing it. It's short, it's sweet, and it's got some nice chops, that's why. Alright, so, hope you're cool with that. Standard tuning on this, and uh, the intro here, uh, the first person I heard do this, well, it was Eddie Van Halen and Angus Young, back in the early 80s when I started playing, and uh, using the thumb, index, and middle to pluck the strings. Now this is, this is just, you know, for the intro part. Um, if that's, I'd like you to try it, you know, the thumb would handle G, index B, middle on the high E, and you can see they're offset, you wouldn't want to try to stack them straight, that's actually more work, but, um, so the thumb will be handling kind of a downward, and these are plucking upward, but you're pinching them and going at the same time. Now, it's kind of interesting here, this is section one, starts at zero seconds, uh, the first one, um, you're going to pluck those, short rest and then pluck two more times also with your index bar the third fret on the last three strings you'll see why so we'd have all the other times it's just going to be there'll be no rest it'll be four times i'm also resting my pinky on the body to kind of secure the hand over here so one and then rest two more times try to keep your volumes even if you get frustrated timmy you can use a pick it's a different sound but um, just keep that in mind. From there, we're just going to lift our third finger off, and now it becomes uh, fourth fret G, third fret barred on the B and E, and four times. Then, just lift your middle finger off now, and you're actually when you bar the third fret, just bar the last two, and then you'll be set for the first three chords. Open, third, and third, four times. And then a D chord, but play it like this. Bar the second fret on the last three strings. Go middle finger 3B. Be careful that you don't mute the high E with that middle finger. So it's got to come down at an angle, lower the thumb. You're going to go three times. Then stretch the pinky to 5B. Don't let it touch the above or below string. One time, and then lift it off. One time. So the ending's the trickiest part. Only changing is right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> it goes five times. On um, the second through the fifth time, no pauses. You'll just go straight through it. All right. So that'll sound like this. And you just keep running that. Um, section 2A, power chords, up your distortion a little, it's a C and a D power chord, 3A, 5D, um, yeah. again, and then second time, pinch harmonic vibrato 7G. Then, section 2B comes in, and it's an E power chord to a C to a D to an E. Sounds like this. Let's see. Right. So, open E, 2A, strum, third, third fret A, fifth fret D. 5th fret A, 7th D, do a triplet, go down, up, down, and then slide to 7-9, and then strum it. So in your tabs, Tim, you'll see the slide, you know, going up, and then you'll see that I wrote 7-9. That just means you got there. You want to strum it again. That's why it's written twice. 
So you know that slide area where you have to stop and then strum. If I didn't write a second one, you would go. But it's. Okay, and then the next part, you kind of start it over. The E and the C. And then this stuff can be a little tricky. If you have trouble with the muting, you can take it out. It's not a key part of the song. Most people don't even hear that. But let me give you some hints. Take your index and we're going to hover it over the seventh fret D, G, and B as in like a bar. Um, and middle finger, well, you can drop actually all of them, but this for index will be important. We're going to go down, up, down. And the final down will be 7th fret, 7th fret, and 8th fret on the B. So you'd go. And then lift your middle finger up, and it's three sevens. So it's. So. Let's try it again. And then. Don't know if you have a whammy, but if you do, natural harmonics on the 7th. Or, uh. 7th fret on the D and G. Just kind of act as if you're barring it right above the fret wire itself. But get them both sounding. And then take the whammy bar. And just dive bomb it. Section 3. So your outline there is like... Okay. Section 3, 31 seconds in. It's kind of a play off of section 2B. And that'll be this. I probably should have called this section 2C, but that's all right. E5, rest. C5, two times rest. So it's E, C, back to E twice. And then 5A, 4D, twice. And then we're going to kind of start it over. E, C twice. E twice. You're going to go, see, more mutes, down up on the top, like three strings basically, leading in to 5A, 5, or 5A, 5D, will be, and then 5A, 4D. So you have, if those mutes throw you off, take them out, it would sound like this. This is the second half. Okay. Um, then you're going to end the section with this. Actually, you go back to the first part that you did. Then this part comes in. So I'm going to play that in context so you can hear the whole section. It's... Or let that one ring. So what you do here is this is all palm muted. You can down pick everything. And I'd follow the picking in your tabs. Fifth fret, fourth fret on the G, and then fifth fret D. Then back to the G string, we're gonna go seven five four, and then seven five on the D times two. You'll see double dots in there. So on your repeat, watch. We gotta start it over. I'm just gonna kind of flatten it as opposed to lift it and reapply. So see. It's choppy and it can slow you down. The feel will, may not be the same, so. Okay, section four, 45 seconds in. 2A, 5D. I call these flatted power chords, I love them. And then fifth and seventh fret. And then it'll go. 7A, 9D twice. Palm mute the open E two times, and then move it over to a D power chord, which is fifth and seventh fret. So E power chord twice, open E palm mute twice, D power chord once. Then you'll go back to the E power chord twice, and then palm mute open E and 2A. So you have.
does that come in? Section 4, 45 seconds in? I feel like I'm missing the, the, uh, the beat a little. Yeah. So, open A, 2D, it's an A power chord, um, 2A, 5D, to 3, 5, A, D. So that power chord would go. And then move it up a whole step to 5th and 7th fret. And then a bar chord here. Bar the 3rd fret from the A string, all the way down, go 5D and 5G, strum all of them except the top string. And then 2E, 5A to 3, 5. So. Gotta turn it over. And then 5, 7 to 3, 5. Alright, All right, and then section 5, a minute in. It's a really cool part, too, man. It goes. Papers flying. That's a minute in. We're gonna check that out really quick too. And there's two guitars, I believe, here, Tim. You're this. This is kind of the more melodic one. It's cool. Open E, short rest, and then second fret A and D. I would upstroke the. D string and all this stuff. 3A twice to 2D to open G. And these are holds as well. So your first one, you're letting all that ring. Don't go. So, same thing here on the C. Up to 5A. Now, you don't pause till you get to the 5A, right? You're going to go. Short rest and then 4D open G. And then this is hard to hear, but a down up on the open D. And that'll lead you right into 5A sliding to 7. Leave it down as you go 5D and back to 7A. So it's. Now we're going to start it over for the first two chords. So. Then it changes. Um, well, yeah, it's getting ready to change. You, you will go to the 5A though. You'll go. So it'll be 5A rest, palm mute the next five notes. It's 4D open G twice. And then back to the 4D. So 5A slide to 7. And then pick the 5A. So that second half of this phrase goes. You'll see, it, it says uh, two times, so you would go back and play everything, no star. So basically you're just playing the first half, um, it would be... Oops. That's where you'll stop. 
and then jump to the end of the section, which is going to be this. Tough chords here, dude. I'll give you some alternates, but it's... So, 3A, 5D, with the first and middle, so that's like playing a power chord with an awkward finger, right? And then 7G. Strum them, and then get rid of the pinky, and instead of 7G, it's 5G, so... I just bar with the middle, or you can put your third finger. Do the same thing a whole step higher. Now, if that's too ridiculous, in order for you to get it, if you end up getting it, you're going to have to have your thumb low because of the big Warren D. Martini lay it down stretch, right? But if that bums you, just hit a C power chord twice, D power chord twice passable right um, series of repeats at 116 in um, if you follow everything in your tabs up to that point at the end of it you wrap it up with this it ends up doing the and then this changes to a suspended <coughs> D sus to a D major 5a barred seventh fret DG and B and then pinky 8b that's called a D suspended where it's now three sevens. That's our D major, so. And then, section six, I think this is the last rhythm. I could be wrong, though. And it's really cool, man. This is uh, two minutes.